agree with him on that. I've gone to the school board and spoken uh, once all the way through, once half, halfway through, because they didn't like where I was going with it. And then the last time, they read the, the agenda item at 7 o'clock when we all showed up. And that's when we said, hey, this isn't cool, you can't do this. And that's why we put a caller at the meeting and, and two weeks later, said, you're, you're actually violating the Ontario Education Act. In Section 207, it says that these meetings will be public. So, Gail Hatfield, what she has done as a chair is chaired an illegal meeting. It's illegal. And in Section 218, it says that they will actually was, they will take in the feedback from the public, parents primarily, and then that the board, whoever whoever's receiving that on behalf of their constituents, will take that back to the board, and it will be discussed openly. So these closed door meetings are illegal. They are, as far as I'm concerned, breaking the law. And, I, and if you, it just as a literal reading of the Ontario Education Act, that's what they're doing, and it needs to stop. So that's why we're here. We want to talk to Lisa Gretzky because we want her to understand. We want to partner with him. I'm sure, you know, Mrs. Gretzky is concerned about children the way we are. And but the whole point is, what she should really be supporting is democracy. Right, as her role as an MPP. That means the people have to be engaged. You have to engage the people. She should be here right now engaging the people. And it should be a conversation with the public. The GECDSB, right, the, the uh, Greater Essex County District School Board, they have their own guidelines. And their guidelines explicitly state that they are accountable to, and they ascribe to these guidelines, they've said it publicly in the meeting that's recorded in minutes, that they ascribe to these guidelines. These guidelines say that they are accountable to the Ontario public. First and foremost, they are accountable to parents. And that is what is being violated, both in law and in principle. And ethically, this is off the rails. So what, what the, what part of it is, is yes, they have to have public, public school board meetings. Yes, 100%. But also the material that they have in the schools themselves, right, they do not meet the curriculum. So there's a, one of the trustees, Nancy Armstrong, you probably heard of Trustee Linda Chin, who also been a strong advocate for the children. Unfortunately, she's been villainized by a lot of trustees on the board. But, when it comes to uh, Nancy Armstrong, she posed an excellent question. She said, after explaining in her research, she said, if the books don't meet the curriculum, how did they end up on the shelves? <laughs> so the, 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 the question is then, if the school... the books don't meet the curriculum criteria, how did the books end up on the shelves of libraries? Right? So that's the whole problem that we have. But really, bottom line, whether it's our side, their side, another side, I don't care what side you're on, that school board is to hold public meetings. They should want it, right? The special interest groups of all kinds. Whether they're on our side, we're really here for the innocence of children. That's what we're here for. Everybody should want the school board to have public meetings. Everybody should want that because we're living in a democracy, but they are acting totalitarian. They are they are actually having, they had an illegal meeting. So in September, they need to clean up their act with all due respect, understand that we want to partner with them and help them. So the online Destiny Library, which is a nightmare, just try it, to navigate, right? Go look up a book, right? It's hard to see and to actually find the books. And Gail Hatfield says she has improvements for that. She said it herself. We haven't seen any yet, but that's what we've been saying since November. Since November, we've been saying, hey, we can improve this. And now Gail's like, in the, you know, in the past, pardon me, Mrs. Hatfield, in the past little while, is like, oh, I got some improvement ideas. It's like, thank you very much. We've had those since November. And in November, they removed two books. Why did they remove the two books? Because they were inappropriate.